to learn about a woman called Cheng Sha Wu. She went to school just like you, but unlike today, not everyone thought that girls should go to school or university, especially not to study science. But believe it or not, she did, and she discovered a few new things. She's taught us a lot of things about science that we still use today. Cheng Sha Wu was a nuclear physicist. Physicists are people who are interested in finding out what makes the universe tick. Big things like stars and planets, or really small things like particles and atoms. Whatever they're looking at, they love to discover new things. Dr. Wu was the phys type of physicist that liked to look at and discover really small things. She was born in 1912 near Shanghai in China. Their family thought that education was very important, so much so that her dad started a school for girls. She went on to a few other schools and then university where she got the top of her class. Eventually, she moved to the University in California and she got a job at Princeton as the first female teacher ever in her department. Cheng Xiao Wu worked on many different projects over the years, including working on the Manhattan Project, where her and the team developed the first atomic bomb. She also did some research into the cemetery of nature. In her later life, she focused on the causes of a disease called sickle cell anemia. Dr. Wu wanted to research the cause of this disease. But let's have a look a bit more into that. We all have these things inside us called blood vessels. They're like tunnels running all through our body that blood travels in. We have what are called red blood cells that travel through these tunnels and carry oxygen from our lungs to all our vital organs. In a healthy person, these blood cells are round and flexible. This makes them travel through our body easily. But if you have sickle cell disease, these cells break down to make a different shape, kind of like a crescent or a sickle. As you can see, this can cause the red blood cells to get stuck or clog up the blood vessels. This can stop the flow of oxygen to important parts of the body. And when there is a lack of oxygen, people with this disease can get sudden attacks of pain and over time their organs are damaged. This disease also causes you to have very low energy, also known as anemia. Dr Wu contributed to the research that helped understand why certain people were more susceptible to this disease. They found that this disease is inherited from parents. So just like you might have a certain coloured hair or eyes inherited from your parents, children are born with this disease because their parents carried a particular gene. In America now, every baby is tested for this disease so they can help prevent complications. Whilst there isn't yet a treatment, being aware that you have the disease or that you have the genes to pass on this disease to your children means that they can get as much care and help as possible. Like most things Dr Wu studied in her life, the research on the inside of these blood cells was something very small but had a big impact on people's lives. Dr Wu died in 1997 at the age of 84. We know that she was a very intelligent woman and had a significant influence on the world of science. She showed the way for all of you to believe that you can discover new things and achieve whatever you are passionate about. You too could make a difference. Maybe you could even be a physicist like Dr Wu.